Okay, we're gonna do a little test my homemade material mover. You have a little load that I put on there. Two foot by four foot chunk of quarter inch diamond plate. Uh, about two and a half foot by four foot three eighths diamond plate on top of that. A couple of chunks of four inch square tube quarter inch wall. A little chunk of three quarter inch up there. Uh, five foot chunk of uh, quarter inch wall round tube. A little piece of uh, railroad track. And for good measure, my old uh, blacksmith leg vise. So, pretty good load there. Probably more than I'll uh, move with it on a regular basis, but just something to test on. My forks turned out pretty good. Right now I'm using an AC uh, winch that I got from old Harbor, Harbor Freight uh, AC unit for right now. May swap, the, swap that out with a... Um, with a DC unit uh, as time and money permits but I had this sitting on the shelf so that's what I used cable goes up have a little uh, channel in the top there so I could get the maximum lift comes back down into a hole in the backing plate on the carriage so let's uh, push the button and see what happens So, not too bad. Now, as you can see here, I have two roller bearings in the lower rear of the carriage. And you can't really see too well, but two uh, in the top front. So the weight of the carriage itself and whatever load that's on there loads the bearings. So it tracks pretty good. Might have to play around with that a little bit. But I have about overall about a 60 inch lift. And for what I need, about perfect. Okay, and even with the load on it, let's see. It rolls pretty easily. Easy to turn. Got some uh, five inch casters on there. Maybe a little bit soft, but uh, for the shop, they work just fine. So, there it is, overview. Uh, mostly scrap metal I had laying around the shop. Uh, total cost to put this thing together, right about oh, maybe $275.